It's Monday again, and Isabel starts her usual routine. She wakes up early, makes herself a coffee, and sits down to manage her client's content. And like every Monday, the same drama, an empty calendar, and hundreds of posts waiting to be scheduled. But today, Isabel is trying something different. Metrical has a shortcut to plan hundreds of posts in bulk mode. And in just one click, with this, you can plan weeks, months, and even years of content in just a matter of one minute. All you need is to have all of your posts organized in a CSV file. And today, I'll show you how to create yours using this template. The best part of this is that it not only helps you to schedule content, it also helps you create it from scratch even when you have no idea what to post. So. Say goodbye to empty calendars because you're not going to see these anymore. You can download the template from the link in the description and follow along as I show you how to use this template with a real example. All right, let's build a content calendar for a wellness brand. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open our template. And down here, you're going to find several tabs. You're going to find instructions, clients, strategy, content matrix, weekly routine, and finally planning. And this one is the one where you'll spend the most time in. So if you already have your strategy and you have all of your ideas clear, you can jump straight into the planning tab. But if you're starting from scratch, these tabs will literally help you set the foundations of your content calendar. That way, when you're creating posts, it feels super effortless. For example, if we go to the clients tab, you can define your ideal client, who you're talking to, what they care about, what they need. And that way, when you have that clear, the brainstorming when creating content feels so much easier. Now, in strategy, you're going to define your goals, your tone of voice, and the platforms that you will be active on. In the Content Matrix tab, you'll get help to transform those ideas into real posts. You have the social media platform, the content pillar, the content type, the format to have that post make sense. And if you go into the weekly routine tab, this tab helps you balance your content so that your calendar stays well-rounded. That means, okay, so this is like the visual way of seeing if you need to post either an educational post on Monday or a reel on Wednesday and so on. And now finally, the planning tab, which is where we're going to make our magic for this template happen. Okay, so it's actually time to create our content calendar. The way that this works is that each row is a post, okay? And with it, you have the day that you're gonna post it, the time to decide the platform and to insert all of the creative assets that you are putting in your post. For example, this is my post and this is gonna be the caption for it. Looking for an easy way to boost your physical and mental well-being, yoga might be the answer you've been searching for. You get the jazz. So this post will go on platforms such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Business Profile, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. So once I click those boxes, I'm gonna go then and add all of the creative assets that that post needs. And to add your images, the only thing you got to do is you're going to have to upload them into your Google Drive or your Dropbox account. And then you're going to have to add the public link. Remember, it always has to be public link into the picture URL boxes. OK, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same for the rest of the month. Literally, I only have one post here. But again, you can create as many posts as you want. And for these, you can copy rows. You can adjust them. If you want the same platforms on all of your posts, then you can literally copy and paste all of this. Just like that, you can have literally a month worth of content ready to go and scheduled in a matter of a blink of an eye. And that is without 10 tabs open. Okay, once you're done with your calendar here, you're gonna go ahead and go to file and you're gonna download your sheet as a CSV file. 
this is crucial here you're gonna do this okay you can add the name that you want we're gonna save it and now we're going to open metrical and if you don't have a metrical account yet don't worry because i'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description so you can create an account for free Okay, once you're in, we're gonna go into the planner section and in this case, you're gonna select the brand that you wanna post it for. In this case, I only have one brand. And we're gonna click the option, import CSV. Okay, so we have the file. We just need to look for it. We have it right here. So you're going to import your file. Wait a few seconds and voila, you have your post ready to go. You have your assets, you have your caption, and if you want to edit anything within the app, you're more than welcome to do so. You can do, um, you can duplicate your post, you can change the date, the time, you can um, add collaborators into your post, or you can even kind of like tweak the caption if you prefer that. And that's it. You can have your whole month of content planned in literally minutes. You make sure that you save yourself a bunch of hours of scheduling content. You also avoided a Friday or a Monday scheduling panic. So if you found these helpful, I'm going to leave the links in the descriptions for you to download this template for free. And to also create your metrical account so you can do all of these in a matter of minutes. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try this system and if you want more ways to never run out of time or out of content ideas. Actually, you can check out this video where I try different methods so I can beat the creative block. See you in the next one, Metricooler.